And in verse 25, in the same way, he took the cup and after supper saying, this is where the word covenant is mentioned first up. This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. The book of Hebrews tells us, fix your eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. The good work that Jesus has begun us will be brought to completion in Christ. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. I can't wait till Jesus comes. My covenant with Rebecca is until death do us part. My covenant is to proclaim the Lord's death and loyalty to Jesus, the redemption I have through his blood sacrifice, until he comes. Then Jesus says, I will not eat of this or drink of the fruit of the vine until I do it with you again in my Father's kingdom anew. So this unfinished business yet to happen. What we are celebrating will be carried over to the marriage supper of the Lamb. You notice that the marriage celebrations today, we finish with a, a, a wedding breakfast, a meal together, and it's a, for some reason we have toasts. I remember at our wedding we toasted to the Queen, and, we, and people toasted to a long happy marriage, and we did it with a glass of bubbly or apple juice, whatever it was in our hands. On Thursday night, those of us who are baptised will be participating in that, and those of us who are not baptised, please come and listen and absorb and yearn for the moment when you will totally surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. I have been, ten years ago, I, um, I bought a book from Ronald L. Dart from Christian Education Ministries called Law and Covenant. And I read quite a few chapters of that again yesterday. I just wanted to immerse myself in a book that had a profound on my thinking on covenant. On the back of his book, and you can get it for Amazon, um, he says, as I close, covenant is closely related, closely, closely related to law because it is about knowing God personally, intimately, and about being in a relationship with him. Nothing is more central to the Christian relationship with God than the covenant we have with Jesus. In this covenant, you actually carry his name. You are family with all the rights, privileges and obligations of a brother or a son. Rebecca carries my name, classic for example, in our tradition. We carry Jesus' name with all the rights and all the privileges and all the honour. That's why we always pray in Jesus' name. That's kind of powerful. So when we come to renew and celebrate covenant, may God's Spirit mightily move in our minds, strengthen our hearts to really perceive and renew ourselves in the power of forgiveness and the strength of enduring covenant. May God bless us as we prepare in the next few days. <music>